Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Norma and today's story time is my labor and delivery story. So, I, I'll just start with before. Throughout my pregnancy, you know, I was so adamant about like not getting an epidural. I looked up all these different ways and basically discovered the best thing to do is distract yourself. So I was convinced that, you know, I would figure out how to distract myself, got an exercise ball, music, all these different things. And yeah, so that that was the plan going in natural, you know, natural birth. So I went into labor on a Monday. I was on a Monday. I was 41 weeks pregnant. And that following Wednesday, I was supposed to be induced if I didn't go into labor. So the labor started around like 10 a.m. that Monday and kind of just got worse throughout the day. The way I can describe them is like period cramps, but increasing in intensity. So it got pretty bad around like 2 a.m. So that would be like considered Tuesday, but it got really bad. And I had already called them at 10 to tell them they were five minutes apart and the doctor I spoke to was like, oh, I'd always tell they're three minutes apart. Come in when they're three minutes apart. Okay, I call at 12. I'm like, they're still five minutes apart, but they're so bad. She's like, you got to wait till three minutes. There's nothing we can do before then. Around two in the morning, I was like, babe, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. We're going in. I'm just going to say that they're three minutes apart. So we go in. I'm like, yeah, they're three minutes apart. So they put me in this room and, you know, they hook up the little like monitor to my belly for the baby, the little finger one for me. And she's like, if within an hour your contractions aren't increasing then because obviously they were still five minutes apart um <laughs> she's like then we'll have to send you home and i'm like okay and so like maybe like 40 minutes later it was a new nurse who came in and she was like oh wow yeah like your contractions are pretty strong da -da -da -da. so then she's like we're gonna take you into your room um we're gonna get you some pain meds it should help with the pain and I was like, okay. She's like, it's not going to take them away, but it'll make them more bearable. All right, fine. We go. They give me the pain meds. I'm feeling a little bit better. She's like, all right, we're going to start the Pitocin because you're not dilating. I I was dilated one centimeter from like 40 weeks forward, from like 39 weeks forward. And when I got there, I was still one centimeter and I, it wasn't increasing, but my contractions were increasing. So they were going to give me Pitocin, which increases, induces your labor. So they gave me the Pitocin <laughs> and... 10 to 15 minutes into the Pitocin I was like babe you need to call them I can't do it anymore now when we first got there before they gave me the the like pain meds they give you at first I was like how soon <laughs> how early can I get an epidural and she was just like let's let we'll give you the pain meds they should help um da -da -da. and so then you know they started on the Pitocin and I was like babe babe get on that phone I can't I cannot so they come in she's like he's coming he's gonna give you the epidural so they sit me on the edge of the bed and she's like we just gotta wait for a contraction and i'm like wait he has to do it during a contraction and she's like yeah i'm like and i can't move and she's like yeah so probably like two contractions passed before like he was ready to do it so she's holding you know she's hugging me she's standing over me and she's hugging me like this and I'm just like, oh my god. So then she just basically held me like that. I was like, you can do it, you can do it. And um, he put the epidural. It wasn't as bad as I thought at all. Like, it wasn't what I thought it would be. Um, it didn't hurt. It, I mean, I'm terrified of needles. But it felt like any other, like, prick or shot that I got as a kid. So that happened. And um, within, like, 15, 20 minutes, I was feeling great. I couldn't feel anything I was like yes <laughs> so they were like oh wow it's like a total new person and I was like yeah, yeah I know like I wasn't being a jerk but I, I just was not happy and they could tell so I was good then um I started dilating really quickly and I was ready to go pretty quickly but then the um Carter was like facing the wrong way her head I don't remember if it's up or down, but your, their head, their face, her head was down. She wasn't breached, but their face has to face. They prefer their face to face a certain way. And so she was like, all right, we'll try a couple things to see if we can get her to face the right way. So they gave me a peanut, which is basically like two exercise balls put together. It's like the shape of a peanut. And they put it between your legs and like put you sideways. And that's supposed to help the baby shift. So she wasn't shifting. So then they're like, all right, we're going to lie you on your stomach for a little while, which I was like, oh my God, I got to lay on her. And they're like, you'll be fine. It's really not that bad. We'll be monitoring her. So I laid on my stomach for a while. That didn't help. So she was like, all right, I'm going to turn her. And every time she turned her, she turned back around. So they were like, so she was like, okay, I'm going to hold her. Mind you, guys, not to be gross. Sorry, TMI, TMI. Cover your ears if you don't want to hear this. But... <laughs> 
she had her hand like all up in me to be able to turn her arm not just her hand to be able to turn the baby so she turned her but she would keep turning so she was like i'm just gonna hold her while um they have you push so you know they wait for a contraction to come the contraction comes they're like push 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 you know i'm like count to ten stop push 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 you know so i'm doing that and not much is happening so i would say this was from like five to six thirty ish like five to six thirty seven o'clock that i was like pushing like back and forth and nothing was happening she wasn't really moving so i could see in the nurse that was with us and the doctor's face um that they were basically like you could see them getting discouraged and like realizing that like this just wasn't gonna progress so every time you know i would finish pushing i would just see the nurse's face just like you know like just that oh crap so she goes let's give mom a break let's go talk they go talk they come back she says you have three options you can keep pushing we'll fully support you in that if that's what you want to do it doesn't look like it's progressing but we will support you or you can do the forceps which is a clamp that we use to pull her the baby out the problem with that is it will basically we're forcing her out so it'll tear you down to like your butthole so sorry guys tmi <laughs> or you can have a c-section so she was like we'll support you and continuing to push if you want to push there's still a little bit of time that you can keep pushing she's like but in my opinion i don't see it progressing and i see it ending in c-section or forceps so i was like okay she's like we'll give you time to think so i'm talking to my boyfriend i call my mom and basically personally i decided to get a c-section she it wasn't you know improving and not only for me but just you know the baby at this point i was just like let's just take the safest route because you know i just felt like that could be putting the baby in distress to just keep pushing with nothing happening so you know they get me ready for surgery and it was so scary because it was just like in the movies or like shows when people are going into surgery you know and they're being pushed and it's like up to the light and to them and they're just staring at the light and that's exactly how it was like i was just terrified just like staring at this at the lights as they like take me into the operating room so you know they lay me down put the sheet up um they had my boyfriend wait outside and like get dressed you know in the scrubs or whatever and then they called him in when they were ready to start so you know they hit it he the guy increased my epidural and they started <laughs> now y'all <laughs> I was like, I was just laying there and what they told me was, you know, you shouldn't feel any pain. There will be pressure, but there won't be pain. Now the pressure for me was so bad that it was, it felt like it was painful. I, obviously it probably wasn't, but it was just so much pressure that I, was, that I was so uncomfortable. I thought I was in pain. So I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God, is this supposed to, am I supposed to feel it this much? I feel it. And the guy's like, you feel it? You're not supposed to. So he's just, you know, going in and creasing the epidural and he's like, like, you're not supposed to feel it. And, you know, so it felt like forever, like, like, and I was like, when is this baby coming? So I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God. And like my boyfriend, you know, he grabs my head and he's just like, it's okay, it's okay. Like, you can do this. It's okay. It's okay. And, you know, he's praying into my ear, Lord, please get Norma through this. She's strong. We know she can do this. And he just kept repeating things like that. And it calmed me down and calm me down so shout out to babe <laughs> but you know and so then the anesthesia the just eventually he's like he's like oh here she comes here she comes you're gonna hear crying any minute any minute and then you know <laughs> the baby cry. and i hear her cry and i'm just like ah! <laughs> i started crying too you know it's a combination of like oh my god that's my baby crying and like oh my god it's over like the pressure is on and so you know they wrap her up they grab my boyfriend's phone to take pictures for us of you know our head and all that and we insert here um but <laughs> so they did that and my boyfriend sat behind me the whole time talking to her so needless to say she is daddy's little girl already she's like the calmest when she's with him or around him so that was that so they took me out i you know i was in the recovery um bed then they brought me back into my room and i was good till the next day so during the surgery or actually i think i believe after they give you that epidural um they put a catheter in you because like you can't stand up to go pee so the catheter takes the pee out for you and typically they'll wait 24 hours after surgery to take it out so and when they take it out you have to be able to pee so they take it out the next day this is wednesday and i 
nothing was happening i couldn't pee like it wasn't coming out so they were like all right we're just gonna put it back in for another 24 hours try again tomorrow we try it again tomorrow nothing so at that point they're like this is weird like typically by 24 hours it's out people can use the restroom so i was like i don't know so they were like we'll leave it out for today let you keep kind of trying we'll probably have to put it back in if you can't but we'll talk to the doctor so um throughout the course of like my appointments my ob i saw different ob's and so there was a female who delivered my baby to the c-section and there was a male who i saw a lot towards the end he was awesome he's so funny he makes you feel so relaxed so comfortable so did the woman they were both awesome so he comes in he's like so you know i hear what's going on he's like what we're gonna do is um leave it in until it was thursday so he was like we'll leave it in until saturday if on Saturday they take it out you still can't pee they'll put it back in and you'll go home and have it for a week and then you'll come see um urologist I think they're called right don't don't come at me if I'm wrong but you'll come see the doctor and figure out what's going on so I was like all right cool they put it back in I was like lord Jesus please let me pee on Saturday I'm not trying to take this home because if any of you don't know what a catheter is it's a thing that goes up there to, to take your pee out but your pee goes out into this bag so that would mean a week of me walking around with a bag of my pee for a week <laughs> so then later there was a different female another female doctor and she came in that night and she was like so i i kind of i read her notes because basically they figured during surgery my bladder was moved obviously moved around a lot kind of beat up and she was like there could be a tear which would mean a lot of stuff coming after to make sure that doesn't the tear doesn't grow so she was like we'll talk to i'm gonna get in contact with the doctor who did your surgery to see if she knows if anything happened while in surgery okay next day they come in and they're like so she comes in she's like nothing happened in surgery your bladder did get a little beat up basically like my bladder was bruised up from her hand being up there and then it having to be moved around during surgery so that was that was interesting to know right right okay so anyways long story short for that piece um I was able to pee that Saturday and I got it taken out and we went home Saturday with our healthy baby girl and her healthy mama. So that really was my labor and delivery story. It was not at all what I expected, clearly. I came into this thinking like I'm you know, I'm gonna fight the epidural for as long as I can. If I you know, I'd prefer not to have it and within the first ten minutes of any intensity I was like, put it in me now. Like <laughs> I, I need it <laughs> so yeah that's how it went uh definitely an interesting experience not at all what I expected obviously you know there are many people that go in saying I want a c-section or you know you expect things to go somewhat as planned at least in that I did I knew it wasn't gonna go perfectly to plan but the most I thought was oh I would get an epidural but I ended up having a c-section <laughs> so that is my labor and delivery story i hope you guys enjoyed please comment down below your own experiences or anything you have to say about mine any questions you want to ask me and i'll do my best to answer them and yeah i hope you enjoyed please subscribe like the video and i will see you in the next one bye